Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Jamil with Millman Studios. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video today. First of all, I wanna say thank you so much to all those who have supported the channel by subscribing. I really do appreciate your interest. I also post some of my work to Instagram at Millman Studios. Be sure to give me a follow there. Thank you for those of you who have DM'd me and showed your support in that regard. Today, guys, I have a video about what you need to do POV street photography. It's something that I'm very passionate about. Um, I actually started off watching Pierre T. Lambert and he really launched my interest into street photography. And so I've invested into uh, some kits so that I can make it possible and produce some content that you guys can hopefully enjoy. As you can see here, guys, I have a bunch of cameras. Um, I have the Canon Rebel T3i, we have the Canon R3, and then we have the Sony Alpha 350. We also, as you can see here, have a cell phone. This is a Samsung S21. Uh, you can see the 34 cameras on the back here. Cameras nowadays on cell phones are very impressive. So even if you don't have like a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, like these things can produce great pictures. So you don't limit yourself and say, oh, I don't have these cameras, I don't have the money for it, I can't take any good pictures. You can still train your eye and get good compositions with these phones. Yeah, it won't be as great and refined as having like a Canon R3 with a premium 70 to 200 F2.8 lens, but again, it's all about training your eye, getting the compositions and having fun, getting out and getting accustomed to getting out and talking to people and seeing if you can get portraits of people. So I think that we can't rule out cell phones um, when it comes to the camera game because they are making some great gains in the photography industry. So once you've selected the camera of choice for your POV sessions, another thing that I think you really need that has helped me and made life easier is a camera bag, a backpack. I mean, at the end of the day, you could use a backpack, but I think a, a bag that is specifically made to carry photography equipment is very useful. This is the Low Pro. Hope you can get a good view of that, maybe not, but it's the Low Pro Fastpack BP 250AW2. It's a mouthful. But this bag is specifically made for cameras. You can carry a tripod, you can, you know, there's several pockets in here. We're not gonna do a review on the bag, but get a camera bag. I think it helps a lot. This one, you can essentially, without opening the entire bag, there's this little pocket, this little canal here that you could just dump your, your camera in, just like that, and it's secure. So you can keep it out of the elements for one, and then, you know, we're gonna go over a few other pieces of kit that, you know, it'll be easier to just toss in your bag than lay it aside and potentially lose it. So I think a camera bag will, you know, you will thank yourself for purchasing a good camera bag to carry your equipment around in. The next thing that I have on my list, guys, is a external wireless mic. In this case, I've decided to go with the Rode Wireless Go 2. Now, this mic has, you know, really helped with the quality of audio on my channel. I will go over the GoPro that I have, spoiler, but one thing I noticed with the GoPro, the, the, the volume and the sound, the quality is good, but it doesn't really filter out wind um, in a way that this does. This purifies the sound and the quality of your audio. And I highly recommend that you invest in an external wireless mic. Um, it obviously doesn't have to be the first purchase, and if you only have a GoPro or an action camera, that is sufficient for now. But to up the quality, I would recommend to get a wireless Go mic or any other wireless external mic. This one clips onto your jacket, and in my case, I actually, when I'm wearing my backpack, I clip it on, hope you can see this, just like that. And when it's mounted on me, it's like at the perfect height to get great sound quality. So um, you, if you don't have a backpack, you can literally just clip it onto your shirt. Like I'm wearing one right now on my t-shirt, it's easy to clip on. So these are a great addition to any street photography kit. Finally, guys, we have not only the action camera that I've chosen, the GoPro Hero Black, um, or sorry, the GoPro 10 Hero Black or the GoPro Hero 10 Black, who knows, there's too many words. But this is the one that I've chosen. It shoots at 
4K 60 frames per second stabilized. That's what I always use when I'm shooting um, uh, street photography and I use it the widest view. There's a cinematic view where you can shoot uh, 5.7K, I believe it is, at 30 frames per second, but I typically use the uh, stabilized super view um, 4K 60. In addition to the action camera of your choice, you're gonna need a way to mount it. So. There are mounts you can get for the GoPro or other action cameras that can mount to your backpack. I decided to go with the chest mount. I think it's comfortable. I forget it's there most of the time. Um, but this is the one that I've chosen to go with. Obviously, if you're doing POV shoots, then you're gonna need a camera to really show the people what you're looking at so they can see the compositions with you as you take the pictures. So there it is, guys. Essentially, this is all that I typically use when I go and do street photography. We have the GoPro, the camera, and the external wireless mic with the backpack where I can throw all this stuff in the backpack and just carry it around effortlessly. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you guys have any questions about my kit or why I carry certain things, you know, why I chose this camera, why the GoPro, be sure to hit me up in the comment section, guys. Also, follow me on Instagram at Milmid Studios and hit that subscribe button here on YouTube if you wanna see more content like this, along with other POV street photography videos starring the Canon R3. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one.